Hey there, YouTube fam. Welcome to class. Welcome to your practice. My name is Rain. I'll be here to guide you to a gentle recovery flow for today. Um, if you have been practicing with me in all of my videos here on YouTube, thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time to do a class with me, I'll be showing you some options and some um, poses. Feel free to stay there for as long as you want. Even pause the video whenever you feel like you need more. Um, and yeah, I'll be here to guide you. Please um, follow, subscribe, um, let me know how your practice went, comment down below how um, your practice went or if you want to do something else after this one, you want me to make a video, um, please let me know, comment down below. So let's go and start your practice. I have blocks here with me today. Feel free to grab yours right now. If you don't have any, maybe thick books, any pillows, um, bolsters that you have there with you wherever you're practicing. I have two. I'm gonna get one of the highest setting. This is for the head and this one for um, a middle setting towards my middle back or towards my shoulder blades. So we're gonna do heart opening for today. Let's go and start your practice. Grounding down at the center of your mat. I'm gonna place my back there. First elbows. And then the middle back, middle setting block onto my middle back. Because sometimes when this is too hard, I find it um, pressing onto my shoulder blades instead. So see what feels good for you. Yeah, and then take the highest setting towards the head, like so. Now my back is cracking. I know I haven't been stretching or doing something cool down uh, of a flow in a while. So this will feel really good if you're like that too. Yeah. So see what feels good. If this is too much, go ahead and take it at the lower setting. If you want a little bit more heart opening, the back of the head of a block there at the highest, go and take it at the middle setting like so. See how that feels, yeah? Take your hands either to the side to feel the opening on the front of the shoulders or just to the sides of the hips, ground down with the palms, yes? Now, if this is too much on the middle back, plant both of your feet near the hips, lift it, tuck the tailbone, and then release, yes? There you go. If you want a little bit more, take both of your feet to the top, extend them long. Yes. Close the eyes for a few moments and let's go and tune in with our natural breath first. See if how you can soften in your practice today by breathing in and breathing out a little bit more mindful, a little bit more gentle. See how you take your inhales and exhales first. Whenever you take your inhale, expand more into the chest. Whenever you take your exhale, go dive deeper into the surrender of your hips, your heart, your head to the blocks, to the mat, to your sacred space. And just be here, just follow my voice. As no one is seeing you right now, we don't need to show up a specific way, but rather be here as we take care of ourselves. Allow the moments that you step into the mat be those vulnerable moments for you to really be there 100%. Looking at how you are in the physical landscape, notice the sensations in the body, notice if there's any tension from all the workouts, from all the movement that you have done, if you had a long day or if you had a long week, or it's really just a busy day. See if you can gently relax into the space that you're making for yourself. You don't have to heal anything right now, my friend. You don't have to tend to anything or anyone right now. You just need to breathe. And just follow my voice as I guide you to relax and open and stretch and let go. Let's create some intentions for today's practice. Notice what feels subtle. Or notice what feels strong in the mind and the heart right now. Something that you might be putting or pushing on the side for the longest time. Something that needs to be addressed. Know, my friend, that you are worthy enough of that safety, that comfort inside your head, in your heart. So give yourself permission to let go of anything that is not serving you right anymore. Not just in your practice today, but in your life. Because when we go to a process of movement today, we're acknowledging one by one all the things that we are holding on to. 
so that when we step out of the mat today, we can let them go. We can feel a little bit lighter. We can feel a little bit more open. We can feel a little bit more free. So give yourself permission to be in the process of acknowledging them one by one, the thoughts and the feelings that are there. Look at them in the mind's eye and say, I see you. I may not know where you're coming from or I know where you're coming from. I see you. Soften the face, relax the shoulders. Allow the hips to really go deep, heavy into the mat. Release any tension. Release the control, the hold. And just breathe. Once you're ready, once you're done with your intentions, place them in the heart as we find our mindful movement for today. Begin to bring awareness to all of your eyes. I'll pin them as slow, as gentle as you can. Welcome yourself back to the present moment. And then slowly, we're gonna lift the head, chin to chest, ground onto the elbows, ground into the hands, make your way back to a seat. And so you're done, Dasana. Bend the knees a little bit, plant the feet, and then slowly bow the head, chest, belly towards the thighs, chin to chest. Just a quick counter stretch on what we did just now. If you want a little bit more, extend both of your feet longer, maybe flex the feet just to make sure we're not pressing anything on the ankles. And then slowly release. Release the gaze, come back to a seat. Make your way to your Sukhasana like this. So I'm going to put my blocks onto the side just so I can look at you. We're going to go and find some neck stretches, side stretches and twists. Inhale, hands will reach up high. Exhale, hands to the ground. Find yours. This is my right. Bend onto the elbow, dip down to that side. Lengthen the side body. Press the hips more. Inhale, soften the face. Exhale, come back center. Try this on the opposite side. Left hand down. Right hand reach the sky. And then towards that side. Open the collarbone, open the shoulder tips. Maybe gaze up if you want. Breathing in, breathing out. Come back center, one more round. Right hand down, left hand dips to the opposite side. Just one big breath here, energize from the fingertips, press into the hips, and then slowly left hand plants towards that right knee. Right hand will reach sky. And then slowly look at your left shoulder or your left knee. We're going to go and dip down. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. And then slowly land that right hand to the left knee. Let's take a cat in the back. So curve the back, chin to chest. Notice this fiery length of the spine from the tip of the tailbone towards the back of the head. Slowly release. Release your hands. Take it to the sky. Inhale, hands up. And then do this on the opposite side. Left hand down. Right hand reaches left. Breathing in. Breathing out. Right hand to the left knee. Left hand to sky. And then dip down to the sh right shoulder or right knee. Notice that one side of the body is different. That's fine. One big breath. And then left hand to the right knee, chin to chest, curve the back. Breathing in, and breathing out. Last two. And one. Release. Take your hands up and overhead. And then slowly release it to the sides. <sighs> Let's go find Gomukasana. Slowly take your hands up and overhead, bend onto the right elbow. Right hand goes here in the middle of your shoulder blades. Left hand to the right elbow. Sides of the right body opens up. Option to dip to the left side if you want more. Take your ribs in. We're not taking a back bend here. Isolating this movement on the right side body. 
One more, just like that. Exhale, release. Option to stay here. Our left hand will go down and around towards the back to meet your right hand. Find um, a strap or a pillow or a, maybe a, not a pillow, grab a long towel so that you can bind. Option to stay here again. Dip down towards the left side. Inhale. Exhale. Soften the face. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Release. Come back center. Doing this on the opposite side. Bend the elbow. Left hand beside or in between the shoulder blades, right hand to the left elbow. Lengthen the side body here and then dip down to the right. Ribs in, neutral on the spine. Take two and one. Release, come back center, option to stay or right hand down and around to meet your left. If they don't meet, that's fine. That's why we're doing this recovery flow anyway, just to notice and receive all the openings and opportunities to discover yourself. Dip down to the right if you have more today or just stay wherever you are. Sometimes in a yoga practice, we are having the space, an opportunity to notice what we want for our body. See if we can listen to it more rather than just meeting the pose to make it look good, look nice. We want to meet the purpose of the pose instead. Come back, center, and then release. Whew, bet that was good. Shake the shoulders, making sure nothing is painful. Yes, take a block or a thick book or anything that you have there. Place them here in the middle of your hands. Press the palms good. Slowly take it to the center first, and then we're going to find some protraction and retraction in the shoulder. So on your inhale, take your shoulder base together at the back. So your heart is pressing forward. Take your ribs in. We're not doing a back bend. And then keep pressing the palms onto the block as you protract. Shoulder base wide into the side. Yeah? Let's do the one more round. Retract. Inhale. Retract. Exhale. Protract. Exhale. Let's go one more. Inhale. Open the heart. Exhale, inflate the back of the heart. Very nice. This time, take your hands up and overhead. Again, we're not taking a back bend, so ribs are in. Inhale, elevate the shoulders to the ears. Exhale, take it down, depress. One more, take it up. And then take it down. One last, inhale up. Keep pressing the block. And then take it down. Come back center and release. Let's do that on the floor. Release the block, find your all fours position here. Shoulders stack on your wrists, open the fingers out wide, hips stack onto the knees. Let's find a few moments, a few rounds for your cat and cow. Inhale, tailbone up, belly down, heart reaches forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together, gaze above the horizon. Exhale, round the back to your cat. Tuck the tailbone, chin to chest. Press the mat away with the hands. One more, just like that. Maybe take your eyes closed. Exhale, round the back. One more. Exhale, release. Come back center on your neutral spine. So we're finding your elevation and depression first. So inhale, shoulders to the ears. Keeping the straight arms. Exhale, depress. Inhale, elevate. Exhale, depress. One more. Inhale, elevate. Shoulders to ears. Exhale, depress. Lengthen the neck. Come back neutral. Shake, shake, shake. Doing everything. Protraction and retraction. Inhale. Neutral on the spine. Um, heart towards the ground. Squeeze the shoulder blades to each other. And then exhale. Press the mat away with the hands as you widen the shoulder base to the side. Yeah. One more. Just like that. Come in. And then take it up. Heart to the ground. Heart to the sky. Come back neutral. Take a seat. If that was too much, shake, shake, shake. Now we're going to go and find some um, combinations of that one. Come back to your tabletop. This time, you want to protract first. And then elevate shoulders to ears. And then protract. 
and then the press. One more, just like that. Shoulders to each other, shoulder blades to each other, heart to the ground. And then towards the ears. And then the press. Now let's do it the opposite way. Shoulder blades to each other. Z press, take it down. Inflate the back of the heart. And then take it forward. One more. Shoulder blades to each other, heart to the ground. And then take it to the back, deep press. Press the ground away. And then take it back to the center. Untuck the toes, find your Varasana. Take a seat here, clasp your hands, and then swing it around. Releasing any tension on the wrist if that was too much. Maybe take your palms to each other, open it to the face, and then pull it down and around. Come back here at the back of each hand, press it away, and then elbow squeezing in together. Take it to the front, and then relax, yes. Come back, center, plant your hands, let's do your puppy pose. This time a little bit more. Um, you can stay on the ground, or this is what I like to do whenever I feel my doms are here. Delayed onset um, muscle syndrome, so blocks here, shoulder distance apart. I like to put my elbows there first at the middle or towards the edge if I want more. So hips are still stacked onto the knees, ground onto the elbows, and then take my hands on the prayer as I plant my heart, my head to the mat, opening the front. So palms can come to a prayer pointing to the sky or take it to the back. Soften the face, surrender the heart. In for five. Four, three, two, last one, and then release. Release the hands, look forward, lift the heart, crawl the knees a little bit so that you can elevate, and then release. Take your blocks onto the side, and then slowly let's make your way towards the seat. So knees crawling to the hands, cross the ankles, and make your way to a seat here. Planting both of your feet at the center first. This time I'm gonna take my right leg in front, shin parallel to the front of the mat, and then left leg will stack on top, finding your fire log, yeah? So it's supposed to look like this. <laughs> Mine's looking like that because I have something on my side glutes and of course I'm bow-legged, that's why. You wanna keep a flex on both of your feet. If this is not working out, then this is already the best that we can do at this side, find blocks so that you can support yourself like this, yeah? If you want a little bit more, this is what I like to do. I like to lean forward so that they can stack onto each other. First option, I like to place my elbows onto my um, leg, like so. Or if you want a little bit more, reaching forward, fingertips ground and as I fold down. Keep your hips down to the ground. So you use your fingertips to press the hips down. We're just gonna stay here for five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Come back center. Very nice. We're going to take uh, that top leg. Step the foot, the thumb is my left, towards the side of my right knee. You can see that your hip is lifted here. Come a little bit closer if you want. Ground down into that hip. Maybe the ankle or the right foot can come near the hip like so. Finding yourself here in this shape. We're gonna find your Ardha Matsyandrasana here. Left hand to the back. Her right hand will reach sky. And then we're gonna bend onto that elbow, tuck it here on the outside of your left knee. Lengthen as you inhale, feel tall in the spine. Find a scooping sensation in the belly. Then as you exhale, we're gonna open your heart. So where's the left side? Gaze at the back or close your eyes. In for five, four, three, two, and one. Looking forward, release the arm. Release that tangle. Come back here to the center. So right leg will go to the front here. Shin parallel to the front 
or maybe a little bit near just to make sure that your knee is on the outside of your torso so if you're gonna look forward your knees onto the side now we're gonna extend that left leg towards the back to find your pigeon pose like so there you go yeah if you have a block and this is too much find the block on your bum to lift yourself a little yeah so find a sweet spot for your pigeon pose what i usually like to do to find my sweet spot is first to swing to where my leg is this is my left and then try to take my inner thighs rolling towards the sky so if i look at my left foot and it's not doing just that i like to squish it or shimmy it towards the center so you can find that rolling sensation in your thigh coming to the sky yes and then slowly i like to twist to the opposite side find that leg again so that i can feel my hip my left hip opening or dipping down to the mat and then look forward once you're ready not much weight on the hands maybe hands onto that bent leg keep flexing that right foot so that you can support your knee. Stay here just for one. Notice how your lower be belly is activated here. And then slowly, we're going to fold down. How do we fold? Maybe just the elbows. You can find a block. Place it here in your forehead if you want to be supported. Or if you want to go for more, fold down, heart to the shin. In for five. Four, three, two, and one. Look forward, release, come back center. Now we're gonna bend that left knee, that back knee, we're gonna swing it forward, extend it long, and then step that foot that right foot on your inner left thigh finding your channel so sasana open the thighs and the glutes out wide so you can sit on the sit bones rather than the flesh and the bum keep a good flex on the left foot left knee pointing to sky inhale hands will reach up high and then on your exhale we're gonna fold down this will feel really awesome if you have done your leg day if this is too much take a micro band on the left knee Yes, instead of your heart reaching down to the left knee or to the ground, you want to take your heart towards the front of the mat or maybe to your left tippy toes. Your hands can stay here or if you want, you can reach forward. Spider fingers on the hands as you fold down. Use your fingertips to press all of your hips down to the mat. Stay here for five, four, three, two and one slowly release crawl with the hands right hand to the back maybe near the hip or farther if you want you want to rotate the eyes of the elbows looking outside rather than coming in yeah you can turn out the hands more if you want ground onto the knee and to that top foot so that you can lift your hips your heart to your stargazer so you can see my hips pressing forward with the use of your glutes left hand to sky or towards the back gazing at the right thumb or if you want more heart opening open the collarbone open the heart gaze up stay for three keep a clench on the glutes press the hips forward last two and one how do you release look down first and then come down very nice reset take your hands at the back bend both knees swing side to side windshield wipers let's do everything on the opposite side come back center this time we're going to take your left leg in front at the bottom again shin parallel to the top of the mat and then right leg on top so as you can see i'm gonna have a little bit of a struggle here but you can feel that your hips are a little bit more open now maybe compared to one side again grab some blocks if this is already good enough for you yeah if you have some more if you want some more take your heart forward maybe ground onto the hands or forearms will ground down see what feels good it really is up to you as we say no one's looking at you when you're doing your practice on your mat so you are at your most vulnerable see how you're showing up when no one's looking at you can we be more open to the surrender 
can we be more honest with ourselves and not really showing up just to look good? And can we be more of that whenever we always step on the mat? Last one here. Inhale long. Exhale, open the mouth, let it go. Come back center. Release, crawl back. Yes, release that top leg. Step that foot beside that knee. Take your hips down like what we did earlier. Your foot can come near if you want some more. Right hand to the back, left hand to sky. And then we're gonna bend that elbow, tug it on the outside of your knee. Lengthen to inhale. Then exhale, open the heart. Gaze out the back or close your eyes. Breathing in. Breathing out. Take four. Three. Two. And one. Very nice. Release. Look forward, release that bind. Step the foot towards the side first. And then let's go and find your left leg. Shin parallel to the front of the mat. Knee away from the torso towards your left side as you swing that right leg to the back, finding your pigeon pose, yeah? So see what feels good. If you wanna go for more, take your foot a little bit farther from the hips. Take your block if you need that. And again, notice how your right, right leg is. So look at the back. See if you can find that rolling of the inner thighs to the sky. You can shimmy it to the center if you want to feel that more. Yes. And then slowly, go and twist to the opposite side. See how your hips ground down a little bit more. Yeah. Notice how the sweet spot is opening here. Take your hands onto the leg or to the ground. Notice that one side is different from the other. See what side has more love. <laughs> See what side needs more of taking a step back. One more here. And then let's go and fold down. Heart to the shin. Maybe just the forearms. Grab your blocks or take it to the ground. Notice if you can ride with the breath as you surrender more as your hips open. Take three, two, and one. Slowly release. Crawl with your hands. Slowly release. Shift your weight to the bum. Bend that back leg. Take it to the front, finding your Janasasana here. Left foot stacks onto the inner right thigh. Open the thighs and the glutes out wide. Flex the right foot pointing to the sky. Lengthen as you inhale. Exhale, fold down. There you go. So again, if you're coming from a leg day, this might be too much. Take a good bend on the knee. Notice how your quads can support your hamstrings, your calves. Reaching forward or just knowing where you want to stay. Reach your heart to the front of the mat rather than just collapsing down. Take four. Three. Two, last one, and then softly, let's release, crawl back to the center, let's meet your stargazer, left hand to the back, maybe near the hip or a little bit farther, hips up, heart up, ground onto the knee and the back or the front foot, lift your heart, hips pointing to the front, Use your glutes to clench and take your hips high. Stay for three, two, 
and one. Look down and then release. Very nice. Bend both knees, step both feet, reset windshield wipers left and right. Okay, down to our final poses for today. Let's go and lean to the ground. So shimmy your hips to the center, low back, middle back, upper back, head down to the ground. Bend both knees to your heart. Give yourself one big squeeze, making sure nothing is painful. Swing side to side, Pawan Muktasana. Notice this massage on the low back. And then slowly keep a bend on the left knee, extend the right leg to the front of the mat. And then we're gonna twist to the right side. Left hand to the sky, uh, to a T. Left shoulder grounds down. Left knee goes to the ground. If that's not possible, perfectly fine. Lengthen as you inhale. And then on your exhale, step or plant the hip, the left hip to the right heel. See that um, lengthening on the left side body so that you can go deeper into this twist. Last four, soften the face. Three, two, and one. Come back, sensor. Try this on the opposite side. Right knee bends, left leg extends, and then slowly twist to the left side. Right hand to at sea. Inhale to expand. Exhale, right hip to the left heel this side. In for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's meet back to the center. Bend both knees to your heart. One final stretch. Maybe lift the head, lift the shoulders. Give yourself one big squeeze. And then softly release. Release the head. Extend both of your feet so towards the top of your mat. Take them as wide as you want. Send your hands onto the sides, finding your savasana. Give yourself permission to take a few or more moments of your time today to stay here and really surrender on how your body feels. Coming back to the intentions that you've set up for your practice today. What are the things that I'm ready to let go of so that when I step outside of my mat today, I'm a little bit more free. I'm a little bit more open. I'm a little bit more light. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. Thank you so much for letting me guide you. Stay here for more. Namaste.